Hey, I'm back. Yeah, obviously I was gone for a little while and uh, hadn't been putting out too many uh, videos. But uh, let me tell you something. Uh, from my last video, uh, when I was talking about my, I was hurting with my back and knees, uh, it got real bad. And um, I pulled and strained uh, some muscles, had to go to the uh, urgent care. And I was on a walker and a cane it, it was it was awful <clears throat> but uh i just overexerted myself and um i'm i'm probably back to about 80 percent right now so uh it's been kind of like a torture for me to uh not have to do anything and obviously i you know i i have this video this channel to show you a boat build and not me talk about my health concerns but if any of y'all are wondering, that's the reason why. So let's get back to the boat. All right. So um, in the last episode, I had talked about I had a bunch of fairing left to do. And that was basically shaping the boat so the plywood would be setting properly against the frames. And um, it took a lot of work. And a lot of dust that you know I'm just a fond of. I love dust so much. I'm being sarcastic. So anyway, uh, I had a bunch of problems. Um, I needed to add strips of wood to fill in the gaps. Um, this whole frame here, the last frame, I know now, uh, you know, from building this, I, I, I raised it up too high. All the other frames had, um, uh, oh, what they call these boards are set at a level till they're all equal and uh, and prescribed as the drawer, you know, the, the way they designed this boat, uh, the setup lines. And uh, this last frame was um, given uh, to the builders. Uh, discretion where he should put it and uh, I basically raised it all the way up to the, the top and now knowing this should have been this uh, frame should have came down and on this point here should have reached probably like there but uh, either here or there that's why I had a lot of uh, fairing to do and adjustments along for the inner and outer chine that was uh, my problems and uh, but I got it all, all addressed and uh, it's been all um, taken care of and uh, now we're starting to cut out the panels to um, you know to uh, to put the plywood on uh, you can see I made these little steps for the plywood to rest on and I would say I made it like about three quarters of an inch lower than the bottom just to have a fudge factor when I flip it over, I'll obviously have to trim accordingly, but it's better to have more material than less. So uh, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I'm, I'm moving really slow, and uh, I have scarf joints to make. Uh, I just did the rough cutout for um, these uh, panels, and um, you know, it's uh, I got a scarf join them. And then set up the the screw line, and uh, and set up the screws. I think I'll set them in there probably every six inches or so to have screws. Uh, and then you know, and obviously I'll have glue up day. Uh, so there's a lot to do. I just uh, to get the panels from a four by eight sheet, and um, you know, cutting them down. Uh, basically, what I did was took a whole sheet. And you know, it and rest it down, and um, on these uh, little steps that I made, and uh, on the from the other side, I traced it out with my marker, and got the rough cutout. I have like basically uh, about three quarters of an inch overhang on the bottom, and I I have probably I don't know a quarter of an inch, you know, so that'll be just shaved down accordingly. And uh, here's an example of a joint um, and what it would look like. 
this is uh have not been scarf jointed it's um been uh just butt jointed uh, i am not gonna butt block the joint i'm going to scarf the joint and from here inside you could kind of see how things look um that is not a scarf joint right now it's just up together and if i was to leave it like that i would come on the inside and do a uh, what they call a butt block um it's just aesthetics i don't want the block to be there on the inside i think the scarf joint and the butt block they both have their advantages and disadvantages um i have the west system jig to cut out a scarf joint uh this ply is only three eighths thick it's not gonna have a problem just zipping right through that i'll have a video on that in uh the upcoming uh, series on how i scarf jointed and then glued this panel down into place i'm not going to show you every panel uh but i'll give you the gist of what's going on but um you know for a, a wan that's hurting i mean to take those panels i mean it wasn't that bad i mean uh, you, you have to use you know uh, logic and, and leverage uh, to your advantage um the panels aren't that heavy and you know for me to just pick up a panel and put it up on the step and then clamp it it's it's really it's nothing at all um you can see i got my other panel here for the other side cut out and you can see the trace lines that i did i i i cut this i need to cut this a little bit better that's a little bit too much material on this side that i have to shave off for later so i'm just going to run it through the table saw and and then uh, put it up but um, other than just finishing off today with making this video and clamping it up that's it for me uh, it's getting hot out here in Florida and um, it's just uh, it's not gonna be uh, too comfortable but I want to do get to the point where is I at least ply with this boat before the real heat comes in there's a ton of work to do on the bottom it's a double layer uh, it's um, you know quarter inch two sheets of ply that's going to show to be interesting and uh and the transition from the um uh, the chine log from the inner to the outer ah, i got a new uh way of doing it i'm gonna um not use plywood and i'm going to use some extra uh douglas fir that i have left over i think it'll uh, end up being stronger and um it's just going to shape out really nice I, I really like the shape of this boat all right guys that's it that's my situation i'm sorry if i was long-winded and i'm kind of boring you all what's going on what's what but um you know it's I'm, I'm still plugging at it and uh honestly if something was to happen you know to me uh physically uh where i couldn't do this anymore uh i would certainly just put out a video and say hey guys you know it's short video uh I'm dead. <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe. Thanks for being along. And this is James at James's Boat Build.